Hi guys and welcome back to Fish and Sim World Pro Tour. So we're currently leaving the overall points at the moment. We're on 600 points. We're a good 113 points in the lead. So let's head off to the next event. It's the Black Forest Open. It's at Walsey and we're catching carp. Right, let's see. We are pick a spot. Um, let's go one of the top ones, I think. Um, yeah, let's go one of the top ones. Top left. We'll do that one. Hello, and welcome to the venue for the next event on the tour. While the competitors are getting ready for the action to begin, let's take. We are leading the carp tour as well. We're on two hundred points on that. Second spot is one hundred and ninety-eight, so we really can't afford any slip-ups. So let's quickly get our peg and start fishing. So let's get the rods into the water. I've got to find silt. Oh, straight away we got one. Cool. There is gravel and weeds in this place as well. So that was a bit of luck there. I'm just using the normal carp silt tackle boxes. So we're using tiger nuts and size two hooks. Damn, we hit gravel, weeds, come on, we need silt. Ah, there we go. Oh, we've got a bite as well. Oh, for real? We lost it straight away. Which rod was that? Yeah, 30 pound lines as well. So let's put some extra tag on the tip of the water using the throwing stick and hopefully we'll attract some more carp. I always find there's a bit of an art to these tubes. Normally the distances aren't the same as the rods, so you have to play around for a while until you roughly get where they're at. Normally if you keep an eye, you can see it's splashing in the water, but at the minute I can't see anything. I mean, there's plenty of fish splashing about here just right next to us, though. Oh, there we go. Right, that was pretty close. Cool. Right, just need a bite now. Nearly two minutes in, we haven't gotten anything. This is really quiet for Cop. I think we're back at this lake in a few events time and it's the worst one on the entire tour. It's the Predator event and it's it's a virtual hit and miss. When we get to it, you'll see what I mean. Sometimes you do exactly the same things and you get nothing. Other times you get bountiful of fish, but the lake, I've read on the forums, apparently it's broken in the devs. They're not going to fix it. So if you don't win it or you don't do very well, don't worry about it. You don't do anything wrong. It's the lake's fault. <laughs> and the leaderboard changes at last. Somebody's caught a 12-pounder. Two and a half minutes in. I know we enjoy carp fishing, but this is very quiet, like I've said. I was expecting I'll get a lot today, but, um, hmm, slim picking so far. Yeah, I think I'll change the tackle box. Let's go to the weeds and we'll do the pop-up tiger nuts instead. Should be plenty of weeds in here. Hopefully we shouldn't find them now. Uh, typical, there's no weeds to be had, it's all silt. We did hit some before, I think it was more middle of the lake though, wasn't it? Oh, this is unbelievable, it's all silt. Come on, where are the weeds at? Um, yeah, let's go back to Carp. I don't want to waste any more time. We'll just recast. Four minutes in. This is not very good so far. Right, at least we found silt this time. Get these last two rods in the water. Everybody's finding carp apart from us, apparently. We're down to 21st spot now. The leader, 
25 pounder yeah you can get that back in one fish so i'm not worried about that lead at the moment if it gets to 50 pounds yeah then i might start worrying Let's get the old throwing stick in. We'll get some more tag in there. Try and tempt some more fish around this area. There's plenty splishing about. Ooh, number three's got a bite. It last. Yeah, it's a big old cart, this one. Nice and slow and steady. So we'll just slowly wind this guy in. Lead is up to 35 pounds now. Yeah, he's starting to get slightly worried, but we are going to have our first fish here pretty soon. So that should propel us straight back up the leaderboard. Yeah, this fish is like a big old truck really taking its time to get here. So I'm thinking this could be a 30 pounder, which would be a great start of the day if it's true. He's slowly getting nearer. Oh, he's actually fighting us a little bit here. He hasn't stretched the line too much. We'll just take our time. I don't want to lose this guy because at the moment we've got nothing on that leaderboard. Down to 53rd spot now. Oh, I hear beeping. I think one of the rods has got a bite. Oh, he's really put on the line now. Come on. Let's get him in. Yeah, it's number two. I can see it in the water now. This fish is really taking his time. It's like well over a minute now. This is like catfish territory. And finally we got him. Oh, he's a nice size. Right, what sort of weight we got here? 47 pound 5 ounces. I knew he was a big guy, but whoa. That's enormous. Look at that. Straight in the first spot. Now that is a serious nice catch of the day. I'd be really surprised if we'll beat that. Let's get rod number three back in the water. I just want it right next to the docks here. Because there's plenty of fish in the water on this area. And let's start reeling in number two now. And would you believe it? Number three's got a bite already. Hopefully he'll stay on the line. It's probably going to take a minute to reel this guy in, isn't it? If this guy was any further away, he'd be in next week's episode. I mean, <laughs> he's just not coming any closer. 43. Are we going to get under 40 yards? We are at last, right. We're starting to make a little bit of headway now. Yeah, number two is really beeping, isn't he? Oh, sorry, number three. I've got so many fish on the go, I've lost track of where I'm at here. Got to be careful here. Don't want to get him stuck in the reeds. Just let him out. Come on. Is he coming out? Nope, he's still in the reeds. Damn. Yep, finally we got him out. This guy doesn't want to leave these reeds. He really loves being in them. I think we finally got them clear of them. Right, can we reel him in? No, nope, he's stretching that line. No, you're not going back in them reeds. I forbid it. Get away from them. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this guy's a decent size as well. We've been on well over a minute now trying to reel this guy in. It's a bit of catfish territory. Oh, he's back in his house again. Yeah, he absolutely loves being in them reeds. And finally, he gives up the ghost. What sort of size is him? 
Whoa, 45 pounds, 12 ounces. That smashes our lead now, really extends it. Let's get this one back in the water as quick as you can, and then we'll start reeling in number three. Yeah, we've got a good 44 pound lead now. Oh, I don't believe it. How, how can it be like that? We've been on well over a minute. It was on the line, and now it's gone. Damn. Right, I'll put this one right next door to the peg again, like we have been before. We seem to have a bit of success with that. And, yeah, let's put number three over the other side. Had a bite there, I think I'm number one, and the line's gone. But luckily, we've got one on number two as well. I think we've definitely found the spot here, right next door to the pegs. It's a lot better than the middle of the lake, where it was pretty bad. We ain't getting a bite whatsoever. I can see him. Not a bad size. And we've got a bite on number three as well. Don't go anywhere, sir. I'll be with you as quick as I can. Hopefully, it'll be less than a minute. That first five minutes, we really struggled, and I was getting slightly worried because we weren't seem to be getting any fish at all. Not having much luck, but now, yeah, it's carp fishing as it should be. We're reeling in one fish, and we've got another one on the go as well. Second spot, they're up to 51 pounds now, slightly cut our lead, but... We'll extend it as soon as we get this guy reeled in. Oh, I thought I was going to have him there. Come on, give up the ghost. I don't want to snap line like what happened last time. Right, this time we've got him. We have. Fantastic. Have a look at him. Yeah, he's not a bad size. £39, 7 ounces, just a common carp. And what's that do for the scores? 132 pounds. Nice. So we've got well over... Come on, Masquerous out there. 80 pound lead. Right, that one's back in the water. Let's check which one it is. It's number three. And I'll start reeling that one in next. And immediately we've got a bite on... Was it the number one line this time? This one, it doesn't look very big, so hopefully it won't take too long. Or is it? Is that just a weird reflection? No, don't go into there. Right, managed to get him away from the little jetty thing. Wow, I don't believe it. All three rods are on the go now. Yep, it's turned into a pretty good day if we can keep going like this. I think it's black, so maybe a ghost cart, mirror cart, maybe? It's pretty dark coloured anyway. Yep, he's not going to give up the ghost just yet. Right, this time, come on, get him, get him, get him. Yes, we got him. Ooh, chunky little fella, not too big. Yeah, co oh, common carp, I thought it was going to be a ghost carp. Anyway, ooh, what was that, 30 pounds? I think it was, yeah. Right, let's get back in the water and which one should we do next? Number one and number two. Should we do rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> no, I'll just pick one. Right, let's reel number one in. So our lead is absolutely massive. 111 pounds, I think. Was it 110 and change? I think it's 110 and change, isn't it? Whatever. I will need so big we're out of sight now. Six minutes to go there or thereabouts. And I'm pretty sure we're going to win this event pretty comfortably. Is that number three on the go as well? Two's definitely going. Yes, number three. So all three rods again. Got bites on the line. I think we should get this guy pretty soon.
Is that one last hurrah? I think one more really and he should be done. I think this is his final goal. Whoa, what a line snap somewhere. I think it's number one. Damn it. As long as number three stops there, we'll be okay. Yes, we got him this time. Yeah, not the massive one. I think it's another 30 pounder, isn't it? And we've dinged a level now. Level 75. It was a 30 pounder. It's our lead up to 193 pounds, seven ounces. As per usual, let's get this back in the water and we'll start reeling in number three. In our current rate, I think £250, that's a decent target. We had another minute or so, I think even £300. The rate at which you're catching these £30, it's pretty good. I mean, every single one's at least £30. Can't quite see what this guy is yet. Um, oh, thinking mirror cart maybe? I think I saw a spot on its head. Not looking the greatest. I'm thinking 20 to 30 pounds here. At least number one still got a bite. Just reel this guy in. I'd really love to get the 250 pound mark. I feel like I've had a really good day's fishing then. And finally, you give up the ghost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a mirror carp. Yeah, it's not the biggest, is it? Have a look. 24 pounds. It definitely was a mirror carp. Who cares? That extends our lead. We should be over 200. Here we are. £217, 9 ounces. Check in the water and we'll start reading in. Which one was it? Number one, I think? Yeah, definitely. Number one. And as soon as you start reeling this guy in, there's a beep on another line. It's number three straight away. Literally, that thing has been in the water. Less than 10 seconds. So this is a brilliant spot. I really should write this down. I hope I don't lose a bit of paper. I've got quite a few things written down now, but I do have a habit of uh, misleading stuff. Looks like another mirror car. Oh, if I put the rods here straight away, we could add an extra five minutes fishing, and I think we'd be well over 300 pounds now. I'd be really aggressive, trying to reel this guy in as much as I can. We've got just less than three minutes. If we can get two more fish, we'll definitely hit the 250 mark. Unless we can get a decent one, a 33 pounder here. Does it look like a 33 pounder? Nah, it doesn't. Common carp, 30 pounds. We're just shy of 250, I think now. Oh, 248 pounds, four ounces. We've got two and a half minutes to get this other guy reeled in. Yeah, and hopefully it's going to be a good day's fishing then. Which rod is it? Um, nope, not rod that one. Oh, here we go. Rod number three. He is miles away. It is absolutely a really amount of fish we're catching at the moment. There's a bite straight away on another line. This has been going on for at least, what, what do you think, guys? 12 minutes, maybe? <laughs> Our lead, well... It's a win, isn't it? We're not going to get caught. We're at least 34, 70, 180 something pounds in the lead. If this is a real event, um, yeah, we wouldn't be very popular, would we? We've absolutely smashed this place today. I'm thinking this is probably going to be the last guy we're going to get today, unless we can get him really quickly. It normally takes a good minute to get a cart reeled in. I'm pulling that line for all it's worth. I'm amazed it hasn't snapped. I'm really just constantly whining, pulling the thing out of the water. Come on, get it into my net. Damn, we're in at the last minute now. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get that other fish. Just make sure we get this one, then we'll definitely hit 250. I 
I'm pretty sure this is going to be my record score for a 20 minute fish anyway in one of these competitions. Should win by over 200 pounds unless that second place guy catches anything else in the next 30 seconds. We've been on with this guy for quite a while. I'm starting to think this could be another chunky monkey. A good 40 pounder maybe? He doesn't look it in the water. Let's have a look. No, it's, it's not enormous, is it? I wonder why that took so long. Oh, it was actually £41.15 ounces. Yeah, that's smashed to the £250 mark now. We are £290, 3 ounces. And that's the end of the event. What a deal we've had with caught. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8 carp. Tiger nuts, definitely the way to go. Best we did today was £47.5 ounces. We've extended our lead by another 100 points on the Carp Championship and the overall championships. So if you've enjoyed yourself, give me a like, give me a subscribe and give me a comment. And I'll see you next time for some more Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Bye guys.